Hey, hope you're having a good day. Our uh, many messages for uh, today are found in the book of Genesis again, Genesis chapter 43. And now the verses we're going to look at today kind of, they seem kind of innocuous, like, you know, why is this really even being included? But there's some real deep detail happening here in some of this. Joseph is fixing to have lunch with his brothers. They still don't know who he is. Uh, and this is where it picks up. It says in verse 31, after washing his face, he came back out, keeping himself under control. Because remember, he had been crying. He'd been upset about um, when, he, when he had seen Benjamin and stuff. He'd gotten emotional about this, and you understand why. Then he ordered, bring out the food. The waiter served Joseph at his own table, and his brothers were served at a separate table. The Egyptians who ate with Joseph sat at their own table because the Egyptians despised Hebrews and refused to eat with them. So, Egypt at this moment was one of the most racially separated cultures in the world. Uh, Joseph, even though he was second in command of the country only to Pharaoh himself, the Bible remember told us he has Pharaoh's actual signet ring. So, his word is law. The only person he answers to is Pharaoh, and Pharaoh's got his back. But even him, the Egyptians didn't sit down and eat with him. Eating a meal with someone's a very personal thing, you know. I've got, I've got a lunch appointment today as we're recording this. I'm going to eat lunch with somebody that is a good friend of mine. We don't go eat lunch with people we don't like, right? If you've got somebody that you, you maybe are having a, a disagreement with at the moment, you don't really want to take them out and have a nice seafood dinner. It's not how that works. So, eating a meal is a intimate thing done between acquaintances and friends and loved ones that, you know, you oftentimes do that with people you care about, you know. Thanksgiving dinner is all about family and friends. You know, there's the new deal of Friendsgiving. You know, everybody, you know, usually uh, a couple of days after Thanksgiving, everybody gets together with their, just their friends and has another big meal to, to celebrate. I think that's really cool. I We do a Friendsgiving uh, with some friends of mine, and I enjoy it every year. It's a really good time. But for the Egyptians, it kept everything separate to the point that the, the early historian Herodotus actually says that Egyptian priests will not eat anything imported from outside the country and that they will not even use a utensil that somebody that was non-Egyptian had ever used or touched. Why do this? Because God was bringing, at the end of the day, the Israelites, the Hebrew family, the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he was bringing them into Egypt to keep them separate. He was protecting them because what he understood was that over time, if he left them in Canaan, that this family would just be absorbed into the rest of the land of Canaan, to the rest of the peoples around them, and they would lose their that they would lose the line. They would lose the line of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. It would be gone. So he knew they were his chosen people. He knew the Messiah was going to come through them. So he winds up taking them to a land where the people there would have no interest. The Egyptians would not want to um, intermarry with them. The Egyptians would not want to mix with them. They would be a, the, the, a separate culture there for a period of time for a very, very specific purpose just so they could grow into a nation and then they could take possession of the promised land. It's not a statement by God of how we should conduct ourselves in modern times. He was protecting the line of the Messiah, this chosen people. He was protecting them for a certain period of time. Even when you go over into the Old Testament and look, there were people and there was scriptural and biblical ways for people to come into the nation of Israel and become a part of the nation of Israel. Um, Rahab, uh, the prostitute from the book of Joshua, and um, Ruth, the Moabite woman, both did that, became Israelites themselves, married into the nation of Israel, and are actually part of the line of the Messiah. So this was done for a specific purpose at this time to protect this family and to protect the promise of Abraham and to protect the coming Messiah. And we'll talk about that later. See you soon.